Close your eyes, watch your breath, and keep watch over your mind. Because the problem is not with the breath. There may be a few problems with the breath, but the big problem is the mind. It's hunger for all the wrong kinds of food. Sights, sounds, smells, tastes, tactile sensations coming in. There's not much quality control. There's not much security enforcement. Think about the Buddha's image of the gatekeeper at the gate, knowing who to let in, who not to let in. And for a lot of us, our gatekeepers are asleep. Or they're siding with the enemy. Greed comes in, you side with greed. Anger, delusion, you side with these things. And then all the things outside that they, these things want to feed on, you're happy to send them in. So you've got to train your gatekeeper. The things you look at, the things you listen to, smell, touch, taste. If you bring them in in the wrong way, they can cause a lot of harm. What's the wrong way? If greed is bringing them in, anger is bringing them in, delusion is bringing them in, it just feeds these qualities. The sights, sounds, smells, tastes themselves are not that that much the problem. The problem is what the mind does with them. So when you're looking, you have to look at why you're looking, who's doing the looking, and what's the result of the looking. This is one of the roles of mindfulness, that someone slipped some sleeping medicine to the mindfulness. Either that of trained the mindfulness, okay, whatever I want is, is going to be okay. And that's a recipe for disaster. It certainly doesn't help your practice. So you've got to train mindfulness to be fair and to take the Buddha's standards. If the Buddha were looking at this, how would he look at it? If he were listening, how would he listen? Or did he not even bother to look or listen at all? It's only when you think in those terms, when you take his standards and and put them in charge, that the practice can have any hope to progress. Otherwise you just stay in your same old ways over and over and over again. All the wrong qualities of the mind get fed, the right qualities get starved. In this practice here, we've built the monastery for people to practice. We've provided support for people to practice, it gets all thrown to waste. So be carefully mindful about what you're looking at, why you're looking at things. Wake your gatekeeper up, train him properly. Then when the time comes to meditate, the, med the gatekeeper will be ready for work and will do its work well.